Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. This one is going to be a makeup tutorial as you can see by the title. This is my foundation routine and this is specifically a full coverage foundation routine. I also want to do a, another video kind of doing like more of a lightweight one where you can like wear it daily and if you guys want to see that then just let me know. I thought I would do a full coverage foundation routine because as you can see like I have some problems areas at the moment which is hilarious because i literally posted my most recent vlog last night my skin was doing so amazing this past week and then just last night everybody was like what's your skincare routine and now i have all these problem areas so i was like you know what i'm gonna do a full coverage foundation routine today so that i can just show you guys just how full coverage this stuff is since you guys were asking like what my skincare routine consists of it's mainly this stuff right here. It's the Bioderma Micellar Water. I get it off of Amazon. Right now I'm just cleansing my face with this before I go in with my foundation. So as you can see, I already did my eye makeup. Yeah, I just thought that would save like a lot of time. If you guys want to see this eye look, I can do it. It's really not that crazy at all. I've been using this a lot um, recently. This is the Ole Henriksen. I don't know if this is how you say the brand, but I say Ole Henriksen. I don't know if it's Ole Henriksen. Um, but this is the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. And this stuff is amazing. And I also want to kind of pin my hair up a little bit. My hair goes everywhere. Like I seriously just want to chop my hair off already. So now I think I'm going to just move on to my primer. This is like a priming moisturizer and this is by First Aid Beauty and it's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So this has like a really, really nice glow to it. I always try and use a primer that has some sort of glow to it. My skin usually ends up being super like matte in the end. If I don't. So this right here is the star of the show. This is the Il Maquillage After Party Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. Their other foundation was like medium to full coverage so you could build it up. But this is like full, full coverage. And I'm also in the shade 095. Also for my foundation routine, I have been using their, what is this? Their foundation blending brush. And this is in the number 100. I have been loving this to apply my foundation. I don't think I can necessarily go back to a beauty blender unless I want a really lightweight, like sheer coverage on my face. But this actually packs on all of the coverage. I'm just going to first dab this all over my face. I'm sure as you guys can see, my face is a lot paler than my body. Um, that is one because I self tan and two um, just due to doing my skincare all the time that right there is the foundation base but now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and this is the Mac pro longwear concealer said in one of my previous videos I used to not use this as much um, I kind of stopped using it and I don't know why because the coverage is amazing and it just blends out so nice. What I do is I just put it on the areas that I want to highlight my face and get a little bit of coverage. So like my chin area and I kind of just blend it out. I'm gonna take like a little like flatter brush and kind of not even like blend it fully out just yet, but just like put it in the areas that I'm gonna be blending it out into. So I like to go along the side of the nose because I'm also going to be using a cream contour after this. And I'm going to let this sit for just a little bit so that I can really build up that coverage. If you let it sit for a little bit, it can really set into place until you actually blend it all out. Now I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown. This is technically a skin foundation stick and this is in the shade Cool Almond. I'm literally just going to dab this into like my bronzer area. I'm also gonna go 
down the nose. Now I'm going to take my foundation brush again and I'm basically going to start blending out my concealer. I have a beauty sponge um, handy so that I can get into the hard to reach places, but I'm technically not going to be blending everything out with this beauty sponge like I used to. Continuing to just go in the highlighted areas and then I'm going to start lightly buffing out that contour. Now for the nose contour, I'm going to lightly take that flat brush and just blend that carefully. And really blend out that contour so that it doesn't look so obvious. Okay, back in with a dab of concealer just to go on the bridge of my nose and on the point. Now I'm going to take the Il Maquillage Transparent Loose Setting Powder. This stuff like smells so good. It smells like cake. Usually I'll take this brush right here and lightly set my concealer. Since this is full coverage, I'm going to be using this to actually bake my face. So surprisingly, I am going to skip the whole like powder bronzer because I kind of just want like that natural bronze um, and then just move on to blush. Like that is what I've been doing lately, but if I really want that extra bronze, then I will go in with powder bronzer, but today I'm going to go straight into blush. This is of course the Milani blush in Luminoso. High on my cheekbones. put blush like everywhere <laughs> I feel like it gives your face like a youthful look youthful glow my lips have been so dry and I literally can't find my Carmex anywhere so I need to go get some more Carmex after using like that setting powder I like my face feels like velvet this is the Bonnie Luminizer and I have been using this non-stop lately because the color is just so pretty. I've had this for so long and I've never fixed it or anything because honestly, like, it still works. It still does the job. So lastly, for my foundation routine, I go in with some setting spray. This is the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This is such an oldie but a goodie like you really can't go wrong with this setting spray i either use this or the morphe setting spray because i like how the morphe one is like the continuous um aerosol spray setting spray um but this is really really good to actually make your makeup stay on like all night i've never had an issue with this kind of um setting spray this entire foundation routine i have been using every single time that i want to look completely completely flawless for the night. Yes, I love my freckles, but sometimes I just want to look completely just like blank canvas, flawless. So this is my current full coverage foundation routine. And let me know if you guys want to see a more lightweight, natural looking foundation routine, just like more of like a daily foundation routine. And I will definitely do that for you guys, but I thought I would do this first. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you thought it was helpful or you just liked watching it. And also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's just at iSarahButler. 
and I also have a TikTok that you guys can follow. All my socials will be down below, if not somewhere on the screen. I don't even want to have an outro anymore because I sound so dumb saying like, bye. Yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.